Hey everybody, Chris Serino here with Sultana Education Foundation's Virtual Classroom. I'm here with the world's largest blow-up globe in this little silver ball to talk about latitude and longitude lines and also to show you a neat activity you can do in the comfort of your own home. So hopefully you've noticed if you've ever looked at a globe, there's a series of lines, some of them running horizontally and some of them running vertically. These are your latitude and longitude lines. So let's focus on this fat line here that kind of goes around the middle. This is known as the equator, and that is zero degrees latitude. Then there's a series of parallel lines running horizontally heading towards the North Pole. These are your northern latitudinal lines. They go up to 90 degrees here at the North Pole. And then there's another series of parallel lines running down from the equator. These are your southern latitudinal lines heading down to the South Pole. Okay, now let's take a look at these vertical lines that also run around the globe. These aren't parallel to one another, they all intersect at the poles. So this line in particular right here that comes down through Greenwich, England, this is known as the prime meridian and that is zero degrees longitude. So every vertical line that you see running this way measures distances west of the prime meridian and all these longitudinal lines on this side measure distances or positions east of the prime meridian. So this is a really simple and fun activity you can do in your classroom or even at home. All you really need is a round ball or even a balloon or an orange, something you can write on with a magic marker. And what I'm gonna do is label the poles. I'm gonna label the equator. I'm gonna draw in some latitude lines. Then I'm gonna draw in some longitude lines, and at the end I will have made my own little grid and I'll explain why that's important. So this activity would start, you simply label the poles. So in this case, I'm gonna label the North Pole here at the top of my ball, on my globe. Down here, I'll put a big old S for South Pole. And then right here in the middle, this would be the equator on my globe. So now that I've drawn in and labeled the equator, what I'm gonna do is draw some north latitudinal lines heading up to the North Pole. So what's important is that these should be parallel as they head up, and they should also end at 90 degrees. For the sake of this exercise, I'm gonna draw two lines, so that will be 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and then 90 degrees north latitude. All right, so what you see, what I've done here is I've drawn the equator and I've labeled it. I have my 30 degree north latitude line, my 60 degree north latitude line and the North Pole. What I'm gonna do now is do that same thing, but south of the equator. So these would be my southern latitudinal lines. All right, so now I've got my northern latitudinal lines and my southern latitudinal lines. And you can see that we're about to start the grid here. So. With your students, you can be like, all right, put your finger on 60 degrees north latitude, and they can see that that directs you to a certain part of the globe, right? But it's really not complete unless you have a position on that latitudinal line to fix where you are. So that's where your longitudinal lines come in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna draw my first longitudinal line, and that's gonna be my prime meridian. So this part's a little tricky. I've got my prime meridian, and on this side of the globe, it's zero degrees, right? But on the other side of the globe, it would be 180 degrees, and I could measure that 180 degrees west or east of that prime meridian. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw two more longitudinal lines, and they're gonna be in 60 degree intervals. So let's go ahead and do that, and it will help you find your position on this globe. So now I have a grid, and the whole reason why human beings invented this grid is because this not only helps me find my position on a globe, it also helps me describe my position to somebody else. And a really neat activity for your kids or your students is to give them a coordinate of latitude and longitude and see if they can find that point on their globe or their ball. So let's say I said, okay, I want you to find 30 degrees north latitude 60 degrees east longitude. They would have to go to the 30 degree north latitude line and then come over here and find where that intersects 
with the 60 degree east longitude line and they can draw that point there. And that's how you can kind of figure out that they're getting this concept. So let's do another one. 60 degrees north, 120 degrees west. So I go up to 60 degrees north, 120 degrees west. Here's where those two lines intersect. And this is just a hands-on way to help explain to your students how latitude and longitude lines help sailors and navigators fix their position on a globe and describe their position to other people. That's all for today's edition of the Virtual Classroom. Hope you'll join us here for some more cool videos.